How much food can you grow in a suburban lot? I'm glad you ask. This is what I've collected over four days. I started picking on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. And look at this bounty. I have loads of tomatoes, cucumbers, okra, and I even harvested very sad looking potatoes that didn't do anything. So <laughs> I have those here. Those are gonna be a snack. Check out these beautiful tomatoes. I'm growing all sorts of tomatoes this year. These guys are San Marzano tomatoes and they are an Italian variety that is used in Italy to make pasta sauce, pizza sauce and stuff like that. I will be making pizza sauce with these but in the meantime what I'm doing is I am putting them in a Ziploc bag inside my freezer because I want to collect a good amount of them before I get into the canning process. And check out these other tomatoes I have. This is a beefsteak tomato. And I have a few yellow tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. This year has been pretty bad with the vine borers. They've been eating all of my zucchini plants and I'm not able to harvest too many of them. So these two are the only ones I've gotten out of my plants for the weekend. Usually I get tons and tons of these. I think for these I'm just going to dehydrate them and use them later in the winter when I'm making soups and stuff like that. Here's a major success though. My okra is doing really well this year. And even though I don't eat it very often, I have found out that if I roast them and put them in salsas, they taste delicious. The other day I made one and I just roasted them in the grill with some onions, some pepper. And then I just added a little lime, salt and pepper, and it was so delicious. You have no idea how good these are when you grill them and just add them to your salsa. So tasty. I'm also gonna be lacto-fermenting a few of these, so check out my uh, YouTube shorts if you wanna see those. They're very easy to make and super delicious and crunchy, and they lose that sliminess. These cucumbers are yellow cucumbers. I think I've called them something else in a different video, but these are very prolific, and I'm, I have been very lucky to get a lot of these. I also have some pickling cucumbers, but they're not doing as well as the yellow cucumbers. I have similar plans for this pickling cucumbers. I'm going to be lacto-fermenting them with some sea salt brine and I'm going to be pickling them that way. I'm excited about eating them as lacto-fermented pickles because they are much healthier for you. I have yet to harvest a single sweet pepper because they are all running behind on schedule. So that's okay. I figure they have the rest of July, all of August, all of September to produce plenty of peppers. What has not done well this year is eggplants. The flea beetles got into all of the young seedlings and decimated my plants. And I did not get very good growth on those seedlings. And they struggled for many weeks and I didn't catch the problem on time. So a lot of my plants are stunted and they are not producing eggplants. I have one eggplant on one plant and that's kind of sad. So. That's all right. Last year I was laughing and I was like, oh, I'm so good at, at growing eggplants, but I'm being humbled by the beetles this year. <laughs> I just weighed this beefsteak tomato and it weighs one pound, one ounce. And it's not the biggest one on the vine yet. So I'll see how big the other one gets. Unfortunately, the one that is the biggest is getting sunburn and that was my bad because I did single stem tomatoes. So that's a problem if you cut too many of the leaves and you leave the tomatoes exposed, they can get sunburned, which is ridiculous and crazy. But you have to be careful with what you do. And the last tomatoes that I have here are Sweet 100 and Yellow Plum. Last year I made the mistake of planting, I think it was like 10 plants of the Sweet 100s. And I had Sweet 100s coming out of my ears. So what I ended up doing is getting some pint size plastic containers and I just filled them with uh, this, with the little tomatoes, with the cherry sweet 100 tomatoes and I froze them whole. And my wife makes this amazing pasta recipe that I think she saw on TikTok or somewhere. And it's just some uh, mozzarella, sherry tomatoes and pasta and you bake that and it's tasty. So every time we wanna make that recipe, we just pop out one of those pint size containers and then we bake them off. I just wanted to share with you guys the bountiful harvest I've been getting and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Make sure that you're following the channel if you want to see more updates like this and see how much produce I get this summer. I am hoping to be 100% self-sufficient on produce this year. And next year, we'll see if we can get some quail or some chickens uh, to add to the farm here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who likes gardening. See you guys on the next one.